what? 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 I live in Korea. Ooh, ooh, Tina, 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 Tina. I have a question. How are you in Korea? How can I get to Korea? What are you doing? Can I do what you do? Please answer me. Assalamualaikum. Hello, dinosaurs. It's your Muslim friend, Dina. Let's answer a couple of commonly asked questions. Let's go. Am I gonna answer every single question that everybody has ever asked me about how I got to Korea? <laughs> no. No. I don't have all the answers. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not God. Also, I'm not Google or Naver or Ecosia or whatever your favorite search engine is. I believe in your ability to do a search on the internet. You could do it. You got this. I think. How am I in Korea? So there's this thing, I basically took an airplane. Well, I, I didn't steal an airplane, contrary to popular belief. I did not steal the airplane. I went online, bought airplane ticket, and I flew for 14 hours with random Vietnamese lady sitting next to me, hugging me whole time, and finally landed in Taiwan, where I waited for a couple hours and finally flew to Busan. That is how I made it to Korea. You too can do the same thing. Yeah, uh, sorry, like the question isn't physically how you had gone to Korea. The question is more like, uh, what do you do to survive in Korea? Like, how do you afford stuff? Thanks in advance. Can I teach English in Korea? It depends on which passport you have. I am a U.S. citizen. U.S. citizen is okay. You need to be from one of these countries. USA, Canada, the UK. Ireland, New Zealand, Australia, and South Africa. If you are not a passport holder from one of those countries, legally, you are not allowed to teach English in South Korea. But Dina, I have a degree to teach English and I'm from Egypt, Morocco, Russia, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, Japan, Germany, France, Mexico, Bosnia, Spain. Okay, that's cool. I mean, you can, you can be from those countries. I'm from Bosnia. I have a Bosnian passport which is, does absolutely nothing for me because it's super weak, but I also have a US passport. I'm sorry. I didn't make the rules, but that's that just, that, that just what it is. Sucks. But you know what else sucks? Vacuum cleaners. Okay, anyway, that, that, that wasn't inspiring. Let's say something more inspiring. <laughs> Don't just be sitting there like crying. Oh, this door is closed. Like, just like, turn around, there's another door. You can open it, it's fine, fam, it's fine. If your goal is just to teach in Korea, you have a couple of options. You can teach another subject that's not English, maybe math or science, I don't know, just a different subject. But in order to teach another subject, uh, there's gonna be a lot of competition. You're gonna be going to an international school most likely to teach, and you're gonna need some really nice degrees, like masters. So if your goal is to teach in Korea, you better have the schooling and the experience to back it up. And I'm sure you can find a job. If that's your dream, then work for it. Do it. You got this. I believe in you. You got it. You can do it. Do you know what do you do? You haven't actually said what you do. I'm with the top program, Teach and Learn in Korea. It is a government scholarship program funded by the Korean government. I live in the countryside of Korea and I teach conversational English to elementary school students after school. Did I choose where I live? No. I didn't know where I was going to live until I was physically standing in my house. There's a lot of what ifs involved in this program. You're like, I don't know. We're going on a trip. I don't know nowhere. Let's just go. Ah, hopefully it'll work out. Yay. Put your trust in God and it'll work out. There are certain requirements. You can look it up in the description down below. Obviously, since it's teaching English, you have to be from one of these countries. The thing about the top program is though, you don't have to have a bachelor's degree. You can be in school when you have to have finished two years of your degree or finish a two year degree and you can be in the top program. So that is one awesome thing about the top program. I've only got an AA degree as of the recording of this video. Hopefully I will finish my bachelor's degree sometime in the future. <laughs> If you don't want to do the top program, there are a bunch of other English teaching programs like Epic or Gapic, or you can just straight up go to a Hagwon, which is an after school academy. But people have made tons of videos about Epic, Gapic, and Hagwon, so I would recommend checking those out if you want to know about the paperwork and how to get into it and different things like that. It's honestly a lot of paperwork when it comes to the top program and also with becoming a teacher. <laughs> If you can't handle being adult enough to figure out how to put your papers together, like, 
I don't think you can handle living in a foreign country alone, surrounded by people that you don't understand their culture or their language fully, and they also don't understand your language and culture fully. Like, this is like a stepping stone. Like, you can, baby steps. Get your paperwork together first, and then come. <laughs> like, do step one before you try to do step 100, okay? You got this. I keep doing this. If you guys have more questions about the top program, go ahead and let me know in the description down below. I'll go ahead and make another video sometime in the future about the top program. What if I just want to like be in Korea and not necessarily teach in Korea for, you know, reasons that are totally not like related to like BTS or any other idol or drama or anything. <laughs> Okay, you've got a couple of options. You can work here or you can study here. How can I study in Korea? Give me all the details. What's the best school? Can I get a scholarship? What degrees are offered? Where should I go? What should I study? I do not have those answers. I'm not personally studying in Korea at a school right now. What I do know is the Korean government does offer scholarships for people from certain countries. And I'm gonna put all of the links in the description down below. You can get scholarships from the Korean government to come and study in Korea. Or some schools also have scholarships for international students as well. If you want to actually register, like enroll in like Seoul University, Seoul National University, or I don't know, Chungang University, I don't know, pick a university, find the university website and you can see what scholarships are offered on the university website. This is on you. Figure out what degree you want, which school offers it, and then see what scholarships they have. Or you can also just be an exchange student. Go to a school that has an exchange program and then just come to Korea and be an exchange student. You don't necessarily have to be at a school that has a relationship with a school in Korea. You could just be an exchange student, be like, I'm gonna take a break from my school in insert home country and I'm just gonna go here. What if I want a job in Korea, but I don't want to teach and I also can't teach English because, you know, I'm not from an English country, it's accepted. What do I do? Well, you got a few options. Uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> you got a couple of things. If you're gonna be coming to Korea and just entering the workforce, you're entering the workforce you are now in competition with every other Korean person that also wants that job. So you need to make yourself appealing and attractive to that company. There's a couple things you can do. Get lots of experience and get some high education and speak Korean. If you do all of these things and you are great at all of these things, then the chances of getting a job in Korea are greatly increased. If you do not speak Korean, and you do not have a degree, and you do not have experience, finding a job in Korea will be exponentially more difficult than... than something that you already find difficult. I can't seem to think of, a, of an analogy. How can I think of an analogy? But something difficult. It'll be more difficult than catching a rare Pokemon Another way you can get a job is connections! How do you get connections? You can come to Korea and meet Korean people, you can meet Korean people in your home country, or have a job in your home country that also has relations with Korea. There are tons of French and German people in Korea that are here because they have a job, like a banking job at a French company, and they were sent to the Korean branch here. So. Look into companies in your home country that have that kind of an option. Maybe you can do that. Also, technology. If you are into technology like your software engineer, that is where the jobs are. When it comes to certain jobs, you might not actually need Korean. I actually know a couple of people that are in the technology field, like they're software engineers, but they do not speak Korean. But they have the degrees and they have the experience. Make your resume appealing. You can do this. You got it. Dean, I want to move to Korea, but I'm kind of scared. My family is scared for me, my dad's scared for me, my mom is scared for me. What do I do? Well, that is a good question. Uh, I don't think Korea is scary. If I thought Korea was scary, I wouldn't have moved to Korea. I'm not crazy. I'm not like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally gonna go to Korea and die. That's my goal. No! No, I didn't. It's like, no. I didn't come to Korea because I thought it was scary. I came to Korea because my excitement of living in Korea was greater than my fear of the unknown. So I came. 
If you're fear, oh, North Korea, or what's gonna happen in Korea, or I'm gonna live alone, I don't speak the language, or blah, 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 of living here and all of the other things holding you back greater, then your excitement and all of the opportunities that could potentially be here for you, then you're obviously, you're not gonna come. So, it's really a you choice. Like, I would make a list of all the positives and all of the negatives, and I don't know how old you guys are when you're asking these questions. If you are an adult, then, like, Time to start adulting. If you are not an adult, then obviously you need to chat with your parents and you're under your parents' roof. If you are an adult and you're under your parents' roof, I feel like answering the question is gonna be another video. It's gonna take a lot longer to make. But if you really are very afraid of blah blah blah, if you're afraid of coming to Korea but you're also excited about coming to Korea, you can watch my vlogs. I do not do scary things for the most part in my vlogs. Just watch a bunch of vlogs, see what Korea is like. If you are interested in Korea, then come, see it. Maybe just come as a tourist first, before you move, if you can, and experience it. This place is awesome. I like it here. That's obviously why I'm still here. If I didn't like it, then I would have said bye-bye. Annyeong. I'm standing on my tippy toes. Just experience Korea. This place is awesome. It's not dreamland. This isn't, the like, no way is perfect. And it's definitely not what it looks like in the dramas, that's for sure. <laughs> but come and experience it as a tourist before you move, if you can. And if not, watch other people's vlogs. Immerse yourself into it before you come. Bye, dink. Remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and keep evolving Dina stories. Bye, bye. my lips oh my gosh this color is absolutely amazing I didn't actually buy the lip gloss I didn't steal it either I got a sample for it brush cherry tint I got a sample for it from Etude House and like what in the who what who designed this for like okay I like it and I don't like it first of all I opened it because like that's what you do with a sample right yeah I opened it and I was like ah oh, well it's lip gloss let me apply it how do I apply it? Well, I have 10 fingers. Let me just use one. <laughs> Put it on my lips, yeah? Okay, cool sauce. It's on my finger. I have used makeup remover twice and I've used soap and hot water twice and it's still on my finger. What in the flying banana sticks is this stuff made out of? Like, what the heck? It's still, am I gonna die with this lip color on? But I still feel like I need to buy it because I'm like, this is wow, I can save a lot of money. I just use one lip tint once a week and my lips are freaking colored. Like, what in the, let's, let's do some magic. I'm gonna go get some tea. Cup with tea in it. I can like, mwah, kiss the cup. It kind of like the cup, like there's a little bit of color on the cup, but I still have color on my lips, right? Let's drink some tea. It's on my lips, right? What in the fly, what the, the what? I mean, some of it's on the cup. Oh God, what if it never comes off? Okay, it's coming off the cup. That's good. That's good. But like, what? If you like accidentally make a mistake, like you're just gonna have like permanent red dots. Like you really need precision to put this stuff on your lips, I feel like. I don't know, how do you get it off? What? 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 So many flying banana sticks. I don't know why I keep saying that. That's not even a thing. Banana sticks. Let alone flying banana sticks are not a thing. That's just... Anyways. Moving on with the video. If you have questions about how to be a student or about Epic or about Hagwans or about, I don't know, whatever, being a software engineer in Korea, I don't have all of those answers. Do some Google searching on that. But when it comes to talk, I don't have all the answers, but I have many of the answers. I've been in the talk program for one year and I've renewed my contract, so I will be in my countryside town for one more year. And then after that, <laughs> I don't know, man, like pray for me, pray for me. Hopefully I'll, I want to be in Seoul. That's like, that's the goal. Live in Seoul is the goal. But for now, I'm in the country surrounded by cows and tanks. No, I don't have any footage of tanks or of the army because that is illegal and I don't want to get kicked out of the country. 